Hello and welcome to Woofboxing, the channel all about the Woofbox. Today we're going to do a little bit of sound design. I'm by no means an expert, uh, but I do spend a lot of time messing around with synths, so I should be able to give at least a decent demo of um, the capabilities of the Woofbox when it comes to sound design. The Woofbox is surprisingly powerful for how small it is. I mean, look at this thing. It is so small. So yes, let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna make my own initialized patch. You can make your own in initialized patch. So if you go into the patch screen, use the context menu, you can see an init patch, but that's not really a true initialized patch. It's an initialized patch for the category of sound that you're in, which right now would be bass. Uh, and that setting is chosen on the global page right here, sound category. Uh, or it's one of these, behavior, I think it's this one. But anyway, that means that the initialized patch, uh, it's not gonna be like a saw wave with no filter, it's gonna be a, a sound, a bass sound that's already usable that you can tweak uh, if you want. But we're gonna create a complete initialized patch, so I'm gonna go to oscillator one, uh, I'm gonna turn down oscillator two completely, I'm going to go to the amplitude. Let's see, sustain, we're gonna do full sustain. Uh, here we go. And then we're gonna go to the filter, open that up all the way. All right. Okay, so the way this works is right now we're in the oscillator page and under oscillator I have chosen noise under the wave. So that means it's going to play uh, noise. Uh, now, uh, we can change that. So let's go in here and turn this and now we have a sine wave. Let's, uh, let's go, oh, there you go. Uh, we're also gonna do a thing. We're gonna go to the global page and we're gonna turn off this root thing. There you go. Back to oscillator one. So now we have a sine wave and there's different kinds. You can see this one has, uh, this one has two. Uh, I think it has, um, it has a, a seventh transposed in there. Uh, these are for paraphonic parts. We're not gonna talk about that in this video. Here is a triangle wave. And as you can see, when I'm in this mode, in, the, in any of the pages, the sound will play on release. And the reason for that is that so you can go through the whole the whole cycle of the envelope. Um, anyway, okay. So keep going. This is a triangle um, with another one, uh, like a double triangle wave with a wave that is above by an octave. I'm just gonna play all of these. So right now you can hear the click, the VCA click. We can probably go to the amplitude and there you go. We just set one attack and that got rid of that click. Let's go back to our oscillator one. My favorite. There we go. And then let's say we want a, a longer release on that. We can just go to this and a few minutes later okay so I was messing around with the envelope to try to make it uh, try to make it longer and I realized I forgot to show one thing that's very important and that is the filter envelope depth and uh, this control works it's kind of like the inverse of a normal filter envelope you set you know what actually I can't even explain it I don't fully understand it. Uh, I know how to kind of use it, but right now we're gonna just turn it off. Like this, there we go. So now we're getting our envelope 
our full envelope that we have here. So let's, let's make it uh, a little bit. Here you go. So now we can actually play it. If you have a sustained note, it's going to work. pretty beefy. Let's sequence something real quick. Uh, I'm just going to do a random pattern. How about that? Boom. Okay. And now let's go to the filter and we can uh, I'll demo that. This is a type, so right now we're in a low pass filter, but there's different kinds of filters. Band pass, uh, there's high pass, there's uh, different versions of them. It's, it's, and they all sound really good, so here we go. And with a little bit of resonance. Nice. Let's try a different one. Oh shoot, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I should have probably done this first. Some of these are great. All right, so let me try to use the filter envelope real quick. So I know I have to turn it on, and when I turn it on, it's gonna, I think, when I raise this, it's going to add this envelope that's down here. So let's see. Yeah, that sounds good. You know what? I'm feeling some effects right now. How about that? A little reverb. Oh, yeah. How about some uh, chorus? Oh, that sounds great. I love how stereo that is. Love stereo when it comes to chorus. And how about a delay? About the other one, it's a different timing. Let's go do a cool filter sweep with this. Cool. All right, and we can still go back to the oscillator page. Uh, let's open that a little bit. Over here and change the wave. And there's a ton of waves. This is this is one of my favorite things. This it's so quick to make different kinds of sounds. Ooh, listen to that square. Yeah. That makes me want to go into the kick track and put in some... Tr and uh, let's go all the way over here. See, now I'm just getting carried away. Oh, yeah. Let's go back to the bass. And let's go different patch. So these might be 
a little too low. Let me just get rid of these and crazy. So now I have gone completely off script and I'm just messing around, which is my favorite part of this thing. Oh yeah. one might be a little bit loud but that is exactly what happens to me every time I want to do sound design on this thing I end up just getting sucked in um, to making something yeah so anyway that is a Certainly not a deep dive, but it's a, um, I guess, a first impression <laughs> of some of the sound design that you can do on this. I'll definitely be making more videos as I learn the device better and, um, and yeah, get acquainted with some of the intricacies of the synth engine. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. And I will see you later. Ciao, ciao.